هو فرجنا الوحيد البحر يعني نفسنا الوحيد اللي بنشم ونضيف من البحر our special coverage here in Gaza, we want to show you what it's like to live under siege. And now of course there's three main things, sea, land and air, all blockaded. It didn't take us long until we realized why Gaza is called the largest open air prison in the world. More than 50 years of occupation and 12 years into a siege, nearly 2 million Palestinians live in Gaza, caged between Israel and Egypt. That's why thousands are protesting and risking their lives every Friday since March 2018 in what is known as the Great March of Return. Nearly a year later, hundreds are dead, thousands injured, and the siege continues over land, air, and sea. And today, we're gonna join fishermen on a perilous journey until the borders that separate Gaza and Israel in the sea. And beyond that, we're gonna talk to fishermen here about their past experiences the difficulties that they're facing and their confrontations with Israeli forces on a daily basis. I'm a بكالوريوس محاسبة وخلصتها في 2005 وأنا بداهم في هو في الجامعة كنت رئيس المركب هذا بالنسبة للصعوبات هي صعوبات صعوبات من الصهاينة المحتلين الغاصبين الغاشمين المعتدين المتسلطين الجبابرة يعني بيش لك توصلهم بطل يطخ النار لعنا إحنا إحنا بنجات الرزق هذا رزق بنجات العلي عشان نجيب وبطبيعة الحال الوقت يعني ممكن إحنا نشوفه وممكن ما نشوفوش ضخ ضخ وبعدين بهدلونه ماي معهم مضخات ماي يجيب على مسافة تقريبا عشرين متر يعني مستعد يرس جنبنا ويبهدلنا ماي كل الطقم هذا الساعة تسعة ونص أجانا من جنب المركب رش علينا ماي perspective, before 2006, Palestinian fishermen in Gaza were allowed to go more than 12, 14, 15 nautical miles. However, now they're restricted to a distance of around six nautical miles. And we're coming from the Gaza Marina. If we go south, we get shot at by Egyptian authorities. If we go north, we get shot up by Israeli authorities. So we're going west in the hope to have the safest route towards the limit that we have. As we go deeper into the night, the fear of a deadly confrontation took over. Some of our filming crew had already refused to come aboard, fearing for their life. And we had reached that point that if anything were to happen, it would happen now. seven fishermen have been killed by Israeli and Egyptian forces, and around 30 fishermen are injured every year, with tens of shootings occurring on a monthly basis. But despite hearing the Israeli ships at a distance, lucky for us this time, there was no fire. And so tonight, the fishermen got to do what they do best, fishing. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for, the fishermen here, are doing their thing. The nets have been thrown and now they're being pulled away. Earlier on they were singing in synchrony. 
Sale, sale, sale. Sale, sale. The main vessel had seven men working in unison, followed by a smaller boat with two men helping from behind, while our crew tries to capture this rare moment of serene normality that provides life to these men's families and thousands in Gaza. But this vital source of food and employment has been affected by the restrictions imposed, leading to overfishing, shortages, and a lack of revenue. The changes in the catch are the most severe, with high-value sardines, which traditionally make up half of the annual yield, becoming scarce in the three to six nautical mile area, leaving low-value sardines and mackerel as the main catch for the fishermen. The very ability of Gazans to make a living is put further at risk, as even the most basic tools like fishing nets are becoming unaffordable for the fishermen. والله اه طبيعه الحال هو الصياد يعني الفكهاني بيحب الفاكهه والصياد بيحب الصياد السمك <تصفيق>